way behind the curtain behind you. Oh. <sighs> Sucks. This is nice shitty start for the day. Let's hope it doesn't continue this way. Exactly. Okay. Well, we're also like over half an hour late. Sorry. No, I'm just giving let that maple on air know that I realize it. Okay. Like I said, give us a few more minutes as we finish setting up here. I'm gonna push this little button on this. <laughs> you killed it. Well, it gives you some danger and surprise to your life. <laughs> I got one of the dark chocolate ones. I've never had the dark chocolate or cheese. <coughs> I've had the regular and the cookie cream, but never had the dark chocolate. Like, I'm trying something different. You want to start with the uh, oh, the, the mutants with no powers? They're, they're the easiest to eat, probably. Mm -hmm. You could start with the mutants that have no powers. It'd be the easiest to eat. Mm -hmm. okay. Snack time. Oh, okay, we're bit my I'm Don't sorry. do that. <laughs> if you want to get a pair of shoes, you actually take it to a place where they can really do it the right way. <laughs> I don't buy it. The problem with doing that is uh, with piercing your tongue is it's too easy to bite on it and crack your teeth. Mm -hmm. That's how I lost a few of mine. Hard to eat, but no, it's not that hard to eat with it. My, I used to have one. My mom's boyfriend's daughter was going to be my sister in law because they're engaged. She had just got hers pierced. Okay. Just. I know a lot of people got a lot of piercings. Oh, she wants her to be your stepsister. Yeah. Another sister. I wished for a sister when I was younger and I'd get two pretty much. Because <laughs> my brother and then my mom. Your sister, Mom. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, it just tasted weird when I mix these two together. Don't do that. This is like the Hogwarts candies. Some <laughs> don't taste good at all. I'm out of bean boozle. I need to buy some more. I love bean boozle. I don't. I like the pretty box. Everything with beans. Someone on the stream actually ate a whole box of those. Every time they got a hundred bits or a, 
thousand. I'm trying to find you guys. A certain amount of donation. They ate one. <laughs> yeah, they ate the whole box. Very scary. It was funny. That's one way to it. I was on the other side. So last battle we were on. Oh, you guys just. Um, well, I can give you an update a little bit as we're waiting. Uh, Fury, uh, met you guys. Uh, you were just standing in that field after the fighting the last that <laughs> sentinel, and uh, he's gonna be telling you guys basically. Uh, he points you towards the direction of the Stark Labs where it should be. Hi, Quito. I was wondering when we were seeing you. And. Uh, you know, for you probably to talk to Dr. Carroll, who's the boss of the uh, place. And, uh, you know. We found the helmet, the other helmet. Yep. So yeah, there are parts for the helmet. Yep. Now, we're just waiting to start. I, I sold all of it, all three of the skulls. Oh, yeah, you sold the helmet. Uh, he got one. Yeah. Well, I guess I can take Beetle out right now. Hey everyone, I'm going to put it to a break menu. Uh, you are like still I believe so. I would eat like that, but I wouldn't say Yeah. Hey, Do you want? Ooh, my. Yes. I've had a headache. I need to drink some caffeine. I got a great one. That's fine. I got more in my saddle bag. Trust me, I don't need one of those. I've noticed when I drink one of these and I get the sugar high, I don't crash as bad as if I drink one a bunch of my mouth and do. So this is kind of easing away from the caffeine I'm trying. Oh yeah, this is the one I like, the fruit punch. I don't think I've had that one. Death powder? It's kind of poison. Get more 
shut up. All people will be on soon. Because the sound's still on. They just have that image. Hi, Quiddle. <coughs> Watch. Yep. Yeah. Excuse <laughs> me. She just kept going. Yep. Did you lock it? <laughs> Yeah, we got lucky on ours, I guess, but we didn't start it too long ago, so that's probably why I didn't that's give That's probably problems. why, because I started, like, early in the, coming up, really late in Toys to Update. No, there's everyone's frozen at that moment. We haven't moved, so there's no time pass or anything. Um, no, no healing yet or anything like that. No, but I mean, that's he's he's there at where we're at. Yeah, because mm -hmm. that's where we left off last time. Okay. We're right at the end of battle. Now you guys are gonna go on without him after this. Yeah. Nick Fury met you there. You know, he's there with Wolverine, some of the... Well, they're almost the only ones that survived that battle, and they've got to still head off to another location to pick up some more men and uh, continue uh, patrolling the border here from between Canada and the, U in the U.S. Because the Sentinel. <coughs> yeah, the Sentinel's been crossing it. <coughs> they seem to be doing a grid pattern, he says. We have some theories, but... Hi, Floyd, um, again. Where you want to head should be you know, clear for a few days before anything ever happens there. Um, we've already hit the lab. We checked it. We couldn't find anything. Uh, Dr. Carroll didn't know of anything, but, you know, maybe if you talk to everyone, get some information, maybe someone 
You know, one thing to keep in mind, Stark was always known for his little uh, secrets. Yeah. So I can't guarantee you anything on that. So I'd follow it up. But. So you guys head on off to uh, the Stark Labs Canadian American branch. Yeah, that's where we're headed. With all your mutants, because they actually hire mutants for work around the uh, plant. Get some work there. Which, you know, is basically they can almost start establishing their own little life again. Being safe. Yep. Well, at least safer. Yeah. They really? have, they occasionally come sometimes, but... Okay. So, um... Everyone do an intuition check. Why oh, not? Oh, your character? Or what, your dice? Everyone have your dice? Yep. <laughs> 60, what's your intuition? Feeble. Okay. That's, aw, 61 would have made it. <laughs> 80, I have an what's your intuition? intuition of typical, and I got a 99. That's uh, a red. Inter intuition. <laughs> yeah. Typical. <coughs> what'd you get? Tip uh, 80. 80? That's Eight a old. green. So, so far so good. Um, you shouldn't have any problems, actually, because you have Gilda with you, who's been uh, blocking from detection. You guys were running into ones that were already chasing you because, like, someone saw, like, that annoying lady uh, at that one place. <laughs> should I mean, should be, be healed up by now, or? Um, well... Oh, I'm going to say, yeah, you guys get there the first day, you get some food, uh, rest, and Carol will talk to you guys the next morning, so everyone's well, kind of settling in. Off, so. Everybody's all healed up now. Yeah. Yep. But I'll be back on tomorrow. So, me getting shot didn't help, didn't help much. Well, plus you have a healer, otherwise we'd have to still deal well with healing per day, which... Yeah. Take For take. most of you, it would only be, what, what are you, typical? Yeah. What's your endurance? Endurance. Fourth stat. Uh, good. So you heal ten points a day. Okay. Normally. So how many points were you down? Four. Well, no, that's right, you had the healer with you. She came with you guys, yeah, so. But that was 14, so. So it would have been two days healing for you. Good night, Guido. Good night, Guido. Yeah, she's not happy because she had to come back in. But because she <laughs> went to walk the wrong way. She's, she's trying to take off after a cat earlier, but that's not. Uh-oh. Well, she was on a, we're saying she was on a leash then. Oh. So she didn't get far, but she wasn't supposed to do it anyway, so. That visit got cut short because she couldn't be trusted out there even on a leash. No, she's just looking out the window. <laughs> Probably looking at some other cats that go by. Nice we have a few cut. that cut through the yard. She was I screwed up. You know, she's just, it's not fair. That's all she says. She's look a, at uh, looking at us. It's not, not fair that you guys won't let me do what I want. Okay. So, anyone want to do anything before this meeting with Carol? Nope. I'm um, have we made it to the uh, warehouse yet? Mm-hmm. The fact, the factory labs area. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we already put you there. That's the only reason you can heal. Okay, we're there. Well, might as well look around. So it wasn't that far away. It was only like a day away, day away from where you were. Okay. Well, uh, look around and see what what they uh, can do. No. No, I don't. They'll, they'll stop you. Yes, I do now. No, you'll be talking to Dr. Carroll first. And oh, yeah. then we can decide if you can go look around the building. First, you have to just okay. explain why you're even here or if we should trust you. Okay. Well, that just tell them, show them, look what we, we've got. What do you show them? Uh, the helmet. Oh. And the other parts. Where did you find that? Um, I've never seen that. War Machine had it before he passed away. Uh, Tony's last and he took it with him okay 
Yeah, we were wondering what happened to him. We haven't seen him for years. Just passed. Matter of fact, he didn't even follow uh, Star Trek there. You know, or Iron Man. He passed, just passed away the other day. Oh, okay. Hmm. I wonder how he would have got it done. Uh, he was working hard to get it back over here for you. We finally got it back for him. Let me check on something first of all. Before we go on. First of all, I have to check to see if they even know that. Like I said, Ro uh, War Machine never came to Canada. But everybody has seen him, have known who he was. Not the person inside it. Yeah. And so, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Brody. They didn't know that. That's why I'm checking. Uh, no one said that yet to him. <coughs> <coughs> At least Dr. Carroll didn't know. Well, he knows now. Okay, well, because you just, just told her. Okay. Oh, I see. Well, some people in the uh, plant will want to know. He'd been here for years. Yeah, those Stark, of course, as you can tell now, since you apparently saw him. How'd he die? Through, through the last battle getting uh, here. Oh. Sentinels got him? Yep. Yeah. strange. They've been acting weird. Why are they attacking a human? He was with us. Us, you know, yeah, but Sentinels are still not supposed to peck off humans. They have non-lethal weaponry. Mm -hmm. um, but we're just kind of curious because like, those whole crossing the border thing is a bit weird. <coughs> so, yeah, I guess you guys could go ahead and speak to them. Let me get the hands up. Ah, a little safe and slight, I'd lose them all. <coughs> I, I think it was going to go together. through them. It was uh, like one from uh, one of those like dollar kits. Uh, <laughs> it's like a real so little like almost really a toy one. Very well. It did actually for going through like ten three by five cards, huh. but they are cheap quality cards. I'm not going to lie. They're they're from the dollar store. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we operate here at this place. Damn studio cards. means we're damn we're out of money again. Exactly it. Oh, well, the idea was that so people yeah. have to go, damn them! <laughs> Who is it? Damn studio? Yeah, what studio? Damn studio. Well, we hate them all! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I'll tell you this, all these people, staff you can talk to. Um, I'm going to put them out there. We'll divide them up. You guys can pick one apiece. And uh, that's who you will be talking to. We have a Dr. Irving Pritchard, who takes care of the X Factor studies. Dr. Pamela Carlisle, plant manager. Myram Johnson, administrator. Charles Goldberg, administrator. Dr. Nelson Ishara, acid lab. Oh, it's a good way to get through armor. They're hoping to try to find a way to get through central armor. Uh, Dr. Herbert Crane. Uh, I, uh, his, the doctor, actually physical, you know, medical doctor, takes care of any problems, including with the mutants. Uh, Kyle Grant, Dr. Kyle Grant from the Armor Lab, Candace Lee from the Armor Lab, and Whit Bullock, the bank guy. <laughs> what? Then, you, then when you talk to these people, I'll also at that time, because you'll have to go see them in their labs, I'll describe what their location and everything. And, you know, at that point, you can start asking questions, see what you can find out. We have to find this armor. What was the first one? No, I'm going to put it out with this. Do you want to do it blind or just let, let you guys go see? I think we're yeah. trying to do it. Everyone roll a die 10. I got six. I got six. Okay, you two roll again. I got a two. I got five. Okay, you each pick one first. Me? No, no, her. Oh, her? High number. <laughs> then hand it Char. to. Yep. What happened to Candace? Which one is 
she... Anyway, I'm in the armor lab. Okay. Alright guys, I gotta go. Luna's going after one of the people. So, I will and you're not going after them, you're... Well, like, going yeah. to yeah. go to yeah. Make, oh, yeah, make, you, make sure Luna understands <laughs> that. <laughs> you're going to talk to the person, not she... go after the person. Ah, bam! <laughs> You guys all mean okay? We talked to everyone. Once you find out, <laughs> those three were pussies. I beat the shit out of all of them. Uh, right now there's four people waiting for me. <laughs> no one. You sure? <laughs> we'll check viewers. We'll see how many people are waiting for you. They count too. Uh, I'll check the X factor. Okay. Then give it back to him. Hey, you got it on my lab Her? too. Yep. Yeah, there's two people working in that lab. That's right. There might even be two different sides of the lab. Friends. Sorry, Sorry I got caught on the game. game. You took the other person I wanted. I took the other person I wanted. Amp. Quit fighting over. You have you have two or one? Oh, I have one right now. Okay. Could yeah. you put this over on my stuff? Yes, I can. Thank you. I got distracted and looked around today. I started writing what we were talking about <laughs> when I was trying to make. I guess you get two to pick. Who? You. They're already two of idiots, so you get to pick two of them. Okay. No one was going to talk to her. Uh, we'll let you take care of that later, I guess. Everyone's talking to everyone but administration. What are you looking for? Knives? We tend to keep them in the drawer over there. Like all the silverware. You guys are having meatball subs for dinner. Yep. I'm having French dip. I had hamburgers. Uh, 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 you? Mm -hmm. I had hamburgers. Because we went made on the pod. We did a major grocery shopping trip today. Actually, I just can't eat beef anymore. It's too, th too dense of a, of a meat. I mean, it's important people eat, especially when they're younger and growing up. They need the extra protein. When you start getting older, man, your stomach doesn't break that stuff down as good as it used to. At least mine. Uh, I need to go back that way. <coughs> Uh. So, good thing we didn't get to any fights before Max started to show up. <laughs> In, like, it's kind of like saying I was too busy. It's, it's kind of like Trump saying I was busy talking to Putin. We don't need battles because we don't need them <laughs> killing more people. Yeah. yeah. I'll go get those guys. In here. She appears in their There's room and scares the hell out of them. Pringles. Do you see it? <laughs> I can. Oh, yeah, I had to catch there. that. I need those too. Thank you. I had to catch that. Mm, did it almost hit me? Oh, by the way. Fuck that. Okay. Hmm? I bought that with me. Okay. Is it a fuzzy pill? No. no. I need to make her a dice bag. It's for my dice bag. I bought it. Heart. To put in your dice bag in? Yes. So your dice don't Make my dice bag. We need dice bag. Oh, okay. Oh. I think I would use a bag, like a plastic bag or something like Precious. that. You what know. do you like the dark chocolate? You could take... Cookies and cream. If you think about it, if, if you took the... Uh, the cookies and cream one? The, the, the sewn bag and you, you put like a plastic bag in it. <laughs> but... Holes. Okay, people have figures or people they want to talk to. Yep. So we will go percentage dice with everyone and we will go around and see who goes first. 64. I got 80. 93. Do you need dice over there? Uh. My dice seems to be really nice today. 92. 
We'll take care of that. Well, I guess they did. They be, so you got to go I first. got one more than her. And that's rare. Who do you want to talk to first? Candace. <coughs> Candace? Oh, keep the ox with everything, guys. <laughs> Moon and the acid lab. <laughs> oh, which one you want to, which one is this? Candace, she's in the armor lab. We're all gonna die! Yeah, except for since we were Someday. talking to somebody in an acid lab. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Jay! something else. Hey, like a puddle. I am the puddle. Candace Lee. Well, her and Kyle Grant are all that's left of the Powered Armor research team. So, um, both very incredibly competent, but very be different ideas and styles on how things to be done. Um, Lee's office contains... Oh, can't even, you're not sure when you look into it. It's, it's kind of a mess. She works kind of more messy. Okay, <laughs> so you get there. What do you say? You know, okay, um, I had an appointment with you today. What's, what's like, this about? Uh, I had an appointment? What yes. do you want to know? No, what do you? What? You're in here to talk to me. <laughs> what do you want to ask her? <laughs> what, what do you know about the armor? What armor? I've got lots of broken armors laying around here. i got lots. We never... What armor are you talking about? Tony Stark. Uh, the one he was working on before he died. Oh, we never Iron finished Man. that one. What do you know about it? Because we're looking for it. It, it didn't work. It, he never got it done. He never made it. What we heard was he made it and hit it. And then I don't know about it. Oh, I've got parts and pieces all over the place here, but... I don't have any new armor or any, you know, that he'd been, he, he was, he was working on one. You're talking about the one, the, uh, anti-sentinel one? Yes. Yeah, I, he never finished it. We're looking for pieces so we can make it. We, help me build it. Well, at best, if we got lucky, we might be able to piece together one of his old armors, but nothing like what he was trying to make, just one of his standard old ones. That's all I got parts for you for. We're trying to find the parts for the other one. Well, I don't know where they are. I heard he failed. If he succeeded, we would have mass produced them by now. But I never... I just got told he, he never he never succeeded at it, so... I saw it on myself. She's beating herself for not getting the right answer. Yeah. Okay, next was you. Max, I think, was an 82. And then what was you two roll? I, I rolled an 80. I got a 64. Okay, so you, you, and then there. Who do you want to talk to of your people? Goldberg. Goldberg? Now, you guys might also end up going back and talking to these people afterwards. This is basically the initial meeting. Goldberg. Ah, Charles Goldberg. Administration. Well, Goldberg and Johnson um, were... She's here, so since basically, we might as well give you that one, too. It's the other administrator. No one picked it. So she'll be in the office. So hand it back over. Okay. Mm. Um, Goldberg and Johnson are the facilities administrative types. They handle whoever, whatever paperwork needs being done. That means they grease the palms of whoever the officials need greasing in order to assure that the Canadian government doesn't give mm. the mutants haven any trouble. In other words, occasionally doing IDs and stuff. 
These two perform as a well-oiled machine, though. Both are on the job. Um, both are in their mid-40s, and they are a couple. If one is threatened or harmed, the other will do anything to help them. Um, but they also provide, like I said, any kind of ID papers, official documents, plane or train tickets, and so on. That's all part of administration for this place. So, your questions. I guess I'm supposed to be asking about some sort of freaking armor or some shit. Well, yeah, we've we've had a few we're working on. We heard that uh, basically, what we were told by uh, Carol was that the um, or Dr. Carol was that you uh, have a reason to believe Stark finished that last armor, the last I heard, and if he had, we would be in a different situation now. He never completed. We actually found the, hel the helmet to it. Well, I don't know much about how that armor worked or anything, but is it, po is it possible that's all he got done? I have no yeah. idea. Uh, how'd you guys even get this armor, this helmet? Rhodes before he died. Oh, the old man, he died? What happened to him? We were wondering, he, he, had, he was here like a month or so ago and then we just didn't see him anymore. We were afraid he was going to be dead in one of these offices somewhere. Got injured. Got injured, yeah. Oh, I exhaled it. Oh. But, um, where, got injured by what? By who did, you know? Excuse me. I have no idea. The one that knows what he got injured from is not here with us right now. Oh, okay. Hmm. Devin, could you have my doctor? Oh, yeah. seem that they really have any much clue on the technical side of it. If someone did do it, he wasn't told, they weren't told about it, see? Which would be really annoying because um, right now we struggle to try to give, and you just brought us like 20 or 30 more mutants, I heard. So we're trying to find ways to balance that and be able to pay them a living wage. When we actually don't make anything. So if you could find such an armor, that would save us a lot. But um, we'll do what we can. I mean, we'll always find, if nothing else, we'll try to get ID and get them to somewhere safer, but we don't know any place yet right now. And that seems to be about, basically, their whole conversation goes more towards, you know, maybe ID if the people need, or your mutant friends, or, you know, but <coughs> they really hope you can find such a information about an armor. But they don't know who had been hiding it or anything. Yeah. So. But as Fury told you, um, that the uh, Tony likes his secrets. So don't be surprised somewhere that, you know, it wouldn't be impossible to have one hidden somewhere around here that we didn't know about. So good luck on that. And uh, let us know if you need any help or anyone to talk to, you know, else. So. Next was you? Yes. Who do you want to talk to? Uh, I'm just going to talk to Dr. Kyle Grant. Okay, this is back to the uh, armor labs, except for you on the other side of labs. This one is very organized. Um, the exact difference between the two rooms. Okay. They're varying personality types of Richie. Grant is meticulous, orderly, and methodical. Um, Grant's Thank office you. contains several racks of prosthetic Thank limbs and pieces of powered armor, all in order on power? the racks and all that. Um, what do you wish to ask, Grant? Uh, ask him about Iron Man's armor. Um, 
Well, is a, the uh, well. What we've heard is you're looking for the one that the mythical one that he died making. Yeah. Um, I've not heard anything about it. If so, we would have started producing it. But I've got you know parts from the old one, but nothing of anything newer that he was making. And if we went through everything, and if I went and talked with Lee, we might be able to piece together an old style one. But I don't know what good that would do you against the Sentinels. Uh, Tony himself almost died fighting one of them. In an updated version, we couldn't even get that. We would be talking like a 1980s version armor. I think we would have a pair of roller skates around here somewhere. Oh. Yeah, the old armor had roller skates. It flew too. But he had roller skates just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Blow my nose for a second here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had to go off screen for that. That was, that was more like ice skating. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> no, no, hit roller skates. <laughs> really bad. Yeah, but the motion he was doing was more like ice skating. The ice oh. skating. No one said he could roller skate well. I can do it, I just can't do it well. There's the roller blades. I was on my I'm surprised coffee hasn't been made. Well, didn't have time. I told you I was behind on everything. Curtain was up late. <laughs> oh, they don't make coffee. They can. Nope. Okay. Coffee's not happening tonight. Sorry, people. So. I got revenge. I'm happy. Um. You were. You talk to yours. Mm -hmm. Um, you. Who do you want to talk to? I want to see uh, Doctor Ivory. Ivory. Let me see it. Irving. Ir Irving. Uh, the X X Factor specialist. Oh, yeah. <coughs> That's why I can't find him. He's on the earlier page, I think. Um, picture. Oh, Irving. Irving Pritchard. Irving. Dr. Irving Pritchard. Facilities X Factor Specialist. Like all other Before researchers you in the go field. Home tonight, I will shave your head. Okay. He hopes to discover the secrets of mutations. Unlike his fellow researchers who hope to end the mu human mutation, Dr. Pritchard realizes the mutation is inevitable. Without it, the human race would cease to evolve and the world eventually become extinct. His tired old man is 70s. Much given to reminiscing about the good old days, he remembers back when he, and he would sometimes be helped. Okay, he's tired old man in the 70s. Much given to reminiscence about the good old days when man and mutants worked together in harmony. He used to actually occasionally like work with people like the Avengers and so and Fantastic Four and uh, Dr. Richards did some incredible work. And they used to actually be able to work together, uh, not have to hide everything. Oh, they kept their identity secret, but you know, they didn't, you know, now we know why. Maybe everyone would have attacked them earlier, maybe if they knew who they were. So, and in the end, no matter who you were, you were all treated the same. Uh, his office is littered with papers, beakers, test tubes, computer equipment, chemicals, and other items, a sort of biological lab space, basically. There's a little here of interest, um, nothing of an armor. So, what do you want to talk to him about? Um. I want to figure out what the problem is with uh, the people, if all humans will eventually turn into uh, mutants, or it will only go 50-50 on some of us. Well, right now I think we're finding more of uh, ex extremes, but I think in the end... Um, it's basically trying to find what forms, whatever's going to survive the best is what against whatever all the odds are it could be someone that has just complete immunity to everything and that's all the end product is they can't fly they can't well, we don't know but if we didn't constantly have and it's also some one of the biggest stories I've heard is that the predator it's kind of like the predator the prey situation where once humans got to the top of the food chain they had to develop their own predators um, so that they themselves could evolve better and survive better events so, yeah, over time, I think personally everyone will be. But it will all be the same. I don't see a reason for this random. But I could be wrong on that. I just think it takes this. Basically, 
the first people to walk, um, and then there were people that ran. People, and basically, the ones that found the best form of locomotion survived. But originally, there was like crawlers. There's all different kinds. And it's just what became the best is what won. But it's going to test out everything right now for now. Unless, of course, the Sentinels get their way. But right now, I heard they're just about as good as possibly going to start turning on the humans, too. So, I guess the rest of us have problems, too. Yeah. So, we're not sure what's going to happen between humans, mutants, or anything that will be left. Oh, no. We just have to try to survive. So, basically, our biggest problem is the Sentinels, human, and mutants. Well, the Sentinels are not run by humans. Sentinels lost, long time ago, lost human control. They're there themselves. They're an entire AI species. And especially when uh, McGrafton tried to take control of them, uh, we heard Nimrod uh, kind of completely separated from any humans even in their bases. They don't even let anything living in their base. You know, in their factories or anything, so know anything if the uh, Sentinels are against anything living? Not yet. We don't know what they're doing or why. That's one of our bigger problems. Um, we don't have an AI department anymore. But we used to have a guy that was going in and that's all he was working on. Trying to piece together what was their goal. Because ever since they quit once they once well mainly once Master Mold went online um it's, he, it's been running them all. So we're not sure any more details on what they're doing or why. We haven't gotten there yet. But we're still trying. Everyone has their own little departments we're trying to check on. Now the guy we used to have for that department, he just had a heart attack about a year and a half ago. He was a friend of Rhodey's and Starks, but, you know, we all get older. Well, Rhodey is gone. Yeah. Yeah, he left here about a month ago. We were probably thinking something happened. Like I said, so is... Well, like I said, uh, some of us were joking around and putting money down saying where, where possibly in the labs he was. Because we have a bunch of buildings here that we haven't even dealt with for a while. He uh, passed away in a battle. Oh. In a fight, not a battle. What were you fighting at the time? Sentinels. Ah, of course. Wonder why they shot him though. I think it was an uh, accidental, but mm. that's possible. They're not, they've been acting crazy. This whole thing crossing the border has been since uh, shortly after McGrafton attempted to take control of Nimrod. Um, they've been coming this way. But uh, we don't know what. Maybe they heard the same story as you did. <laughs> yeah. We haven't seen them yet, but well, we had a while ago. But Fury fought him back. Last and time when Brody was here, where where did he hang out mostly at? Um. Well, mostly we saw him. Mostly we didn't know where the hell he was, honestly. But and he hanged around the armor lab occasionally. Um. <laughs> Hang around Tony's office a lot. I think he was just kind of like lost in what to do without someone telling him what to do. So it's up there like some kind of shrine. You know, you can get access to it. Go look at it. It's it's a nice office. It's dusty though, but well, Tony would hide things in there. He might have might have a hidden area in there. He might. It wouldn't surprise me a bit. Might have to go hunt around and look and see what I can find. Could be. I never actually met the man. I, uh, well, okay. Since he came to Canada. I met him in the Avengers when I didn't notice, though, that he was Iron Man. Yeah. But when he came here, he was just Tony Stark. I kind of forget that they were both the same, because Stark was always there around Iron Man. We just didn't know that's who he was for the longest time. Okay. Well, I'll see what I can do and see what, what's going on. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Yes. Next, we go back to you. Who do you have? 
Dr. Nelson Ishihara. <laughs> Japanese American, just twenty servants in the force. Just twenty-five years old. And the most recent addition to Stark Enterprise staff. His field is chemistry. His specialty is corrosives. Entering the la his lab, one finds the required computer terminals and several racks of chemicals. There is a small shower set in the ceiling of the room in the corner farthest from the door. There's a wash off and any caustic materials or anything that comes in contact with basically. So if you get exposed there, anything can go there. The smell in here is overwhelming. Uh, make an endurance check. No. Twelve. Okay, you feel sick. The smell in here is overwhelming. What do you expect of a lab devoted to the study of substances <coughs> capable of but slicing through sentinel really armor much. as if it were butter. So, you puke a little bit, and now Shark comes over and says, Oh, here, put on this mask. It's a little hard for you when you're not used to it. He gives you a mask. He's not wearing one, but it's just to cake the smell out. Just give it a while. Okay, and uh, we'll head over to my office here. It's not as bad in there. I, I got some air fresheners rolling, you know, in there. So, uh, um... Present, you look around, these liquids are stored in tiny but heavy containers around the entire area. Different ones he has marked, different ways, you don't know what they say. They say mostly are marked in Japanese. Of course, in Japanese. <laughs> oh, you're in sushi. Oh. It comes, how can I help you? I heard you were helping with the armor, the Tony Stark armor to help no. us. <laughs> and you heard wrong. I, I, I only came here a few years ago. Um, I, I, he was dead before I even got hired. I work on the acids in attempting to find something strong enough, because chemicals are cheaper, to melt through the um, sentinel armor. Because um, right now we haven't been able to find anything, but we're trying to find something that can melt through it. Um, these right here, and he points at some bottles in the center, ones that were marked. These are some different generations of the same kind of thing. Um, although they look, you know, about the size of a coffee can, they only carry a test tube in the middle, so it doesn't melt through everything. So, it's pretty, pretty, pretty heavy duty, and uh, we even have robotic equipment I have so I can lift the damn jars because they weigh too much. But the stuff inside... <laughs> um, we're still working on those. These are the newest supplies I got, but nothing here that is worthy to melt through the incredible power of the Sentinel armor. So, we haven't had any luck yet. <coughs> so, what were your questions? Other than that, was that the only one you had? Pretty much. Okay, well, sorry I couldn't help you more. Um, yeah, I heard you, you, you found a helmet of some corn. Sword. It Sword? was Tony Stark's armor. Well, yeah, we have many of those. The one that he was working on to destroy the central. So he got the helmet to work then, huh? Sword. Uh, and how'd you find it? We had a guy come to us with it. Oh, okay. Sally, he, during one of our fights, we, he passed away. Oh, so we can't even ask him questions. Yeah. And here so. I yell from the other room, you killed him! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she killed Mantella, Mantanel. Yeah. No. You killed a human. I he thought it was, she thought it was a robot. <laughs> <laughs> You're standing on that on her, I guess. Well, look at, look at how hardcore she was going on you with the kid. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I know. Okay, next is you. <laughs> Who do you have next? The bank guy, so I'm just going to see what's up with him. Okay. I forgot all about the kid. Bank guy. Bullock is a Stark International or Enterprise Financial Wizard. Actually, he's a counterfeiter. As you walk into the room, you see all the equipment. 
He does handle some legitimate duties, bookkeeping, dealing with Canadian banks, etc. But my primary function is to create vast amounts of counterfeit American money. Quality work is quite good, though, he shows you. Only the most vigilant observer can spot any of the fakery. Um, he has a small, ne nearly filled office with his, his desk, mostly fills his office. Small printing press. PC can see as much fake American currency as they want. Simply by asking, um, he can uh, supply you extra money for uh, what do you need. I'll keep that in mind. Um, Bullock is a mousy little man with yellow teeth and bad breath. Body odor is, odor is almost as bad as the chemical smell in Ushimahara's lab. He always seems to have half a day's beard growth and labors in isolation and likes it. His co-workers like it when he stays in there, too. He's not really popular around here, but, you know, he has the money. Especially American currency. It's so easy to fake it. That's what he says. <coughs> okay. Next is you. Mm. What's the wolf do? Who do you want to talk to? Uh, I'm just going to go talk to Dr. Herbert Crane. <coughs> Dr. Herbert Crane. Ah, if you notice what it says at the beginning of it, mm -hmm. he is very racist as far as he knows they're mutants. Oh. And he doesn't like mutants. Oh. But they have a completely unfair, <laughs> I mean, I mean, how can you like judge against a mutant? He's no different than a black man or a Mexican or anyone else. Exactly. He, he doesn't like anyone. <laughs> Of any race, <coughs> and then mutants are just another one, but none of them are allowed to be killed for being horrible people. So he might not like me. He doesn't. Oh, well, he doesn't have to like you. <laughs> um, he doesn't know me. Silly's doctor, a physician, surgeon, psychologist, and medical jack of all trades. Actually, he's like well, world renowned for some of his qualities, but he also has no so affection for world. mutants at all. And he's the only person here who seems ill at ease around these non-humans. He treats them, you know, keeps them healthy and all that, but with all disdain as, medical, as, me, as much as medicine. All in all, disagreeable fellow who's only tolerated because he is such a good doctor. Keeps to himself and everyone else at Stark Enterprises and glad of it. His offices look like a doctor's office of today. There's nothing much of interest, unless, uh, unless you're injured, of course. So, what do you want to talk to him about? I was going to ask him if he knew anything about Tony Stark's armor. No. Okay. No, um, I was a doctor during the last few years of his life. I was mostly his doctor to begin with. That's how I got here. Uh, but he convinced me that, you know, I should help, you know, you and all your friends. You know, and he's right. I don't have to like you guys. I don't have to like anyone. But I do have an oath as a doctor to bring no harm to anyone. So, you know, <coughs> I mean, I may be against, you know, I mean, but, you know, I'm also against the death penalty, too, so. But as far as his armor, <coughs> no, last I heard, he kind of talked like he had some ideas, and like he kind of was had a session. I remember I the mic. Listen to that coughing. <laughs> Listening to his second report recording in the other room. Should turn that off probably. Actually, I found out it could be that one too. Is it the one in the art room? No, no, it was the art room computer I was hearing. I was wondering if it was that one or this TV has a monitor too. The one of the two that are on the computer. The computer doesn't have one, but the TV does. The little TV. So, <coughs> no, I didn't have to. I didn't get much of a chance. You know, but he started talking like he thought he had an idea, and he really got busy. In his last two appointments. Um, I, I really was fighting to get him here to talk to him, so I don't know if I could have extended his life a few months more. He might have been able to survive, okay. but I couldn't get him out of his lab. Uh, 
Jesus, the fuck out of here. Let's get out of the way. Yes, I could. So, yeah, although he's kind of a hard guy to deal with, he's reasonable. And, but, you know, he says he thought Stark was starting to have some kind of success at it. But he hadn't seen him for the last couple months of his life. Okay. Um, Rhodes is the one that came and told him that uh, Stark was needed help. You could just go down a little bit. And I so found him. More room. No, with <coughs> no surprise. Okay. I found him by his office bar. Just, just <laughs> he was a little bit off and on fighting and drinking, especially towards the end when he was having problems with the armor. So. Okay. So, you talk to that one. Next mm -hmm. is you. Yeah. Uh, the plant manager. The guy who keeps the wheels Pamela. turning. Pamela? Carlisle. The best I could do the name. Plant manager. Her job is to make sure burned out light bulbs are changed. Um, malfunctioning equipment is repaired. Building modifications are done properly. Office furniture is arranged to each person's specifications and so on. She's performed this function at Stark Enterprises for many years. Being a great lady of some 60 years. She alone, um, let's see. Yeah, she's all, she alone is the one that came from his uh, American branch. Um, she had a... Uh, a granddaughter who was uh, a mutant. So her whole family was, you know, kind of like got out of the country as quick as possible. Okay. So. It's yeah, copyright right. free. Yeah, it is. It was just weird stuff. I had to look for a second. And once I looked, I had these glasses on, so I couldn't see shit. <laughs> those glasses, I still say those glasses look good on you. It's, everything looks good on Kevin. <laughs> okay. Um, questions. I'll tell you a little bit about her. Um, she's loyal, sharp-witted, sharp-tongued, and tough as nails. She uh, has no great love of mutants in any way, but she is violently opposed to discrimination of any kind. Her office that you're standing in is clean as a whistle, well-organized files, a computer terminal. It smells like strawberries. And a desk. Uh, a couple file cabinets, that's what I was looking through. It says what they are, but you can't tell from sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ask her, ask her, see if uh, the last couple of, couple of months of Tony, where did he really hang out at more than anything else? Well, he was always a difficult one to track. He was, he was well, an overachiever. He was always running around. Um, but towards the end, most often, um, I would say his office. Can I go over there and look at it over there? Oh, yeah. Um, it's not, it's kind of dusty. Mostly because we all just locked the door. Here's the key. Should go over the counter you know, thing and pull it off. Bring it over you and hand you, hand you the key. Says you can go in there, look around. Um, it's a beautiful office, but you know it's it's his office and no one's allowed to use it. It's more of a shrine to have the people here. We have people sometimes visiting from other countries just to come and see his office. So I'm not surprised sooner or later you'd have to go check it out. But you know what 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 were you hoping to find there? Tony had a bad habit of uh, hiding things, and he'd find little hidden labs and little places he'd hide things. Yeah, there's a few of those I remember. I'd have to go clean in that occasionally. So I'm going to see if I can find if he had one in that office. Okay. What, what, what sent you over here? That last armor he was designing. The anti-sentinel armor. Yeah, they... They figure, uh, Rhodey said he got it finished. 
Where is he? He passed away a couple of days ago. Oh. Like how? Why? Uh, one, a battle with one of the <coughs> Sentinels. It was, he was accidentally fired. And what? It so the Sentinels finally went mad and just started killing what people. Let me, let me they did it by accident, I think. But it was an accident. Still doesn't you, excuse I, it. I can show you yeah. It's pretty soon well. I know the good ones. But Rod Rody said that he had it finished. Did he tell you? That's what Where he to was, look? He, he said it would be somewhere in the plant, somewhere. And you know, Tony, you can again? hide everything pretty well. Bad habit hiding things. Okay. okay. Well, then I'm going to have to assume that he's not coming back. Tony? No. Tony's been dead since they found him in, yeah. his, in his office. Oh, you're talking about Rowdy? Rowdy? Yeah. He's, he's gone. He knew where the lab was. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't tell us exactly where. Right. No. I can get both of these shits. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Best I can tell you, since it doesn't matter now, if he's dead. Um. My promise to Rody that I wouldn't say anything. Is really important, I guess. Um. I don't know the details of it, but he was only found next to the bar, okay? But none of his alcohol had been drinking for like years. Hmm. Might have to go and check that out. Now I wondered, it, it seemed, well, I don't know how to activate it, but underneath the bar. Hmm? But there is a lab down there? Somewhere. I came in to help Rody pull Tony out of the hole mm -hmm. underneath the bar. And as I was checking on Tony, he reclosed the bar. It slides over the top of the whole thing. And he made me promise not to tell anyone what I saw. Well, and we just told everyone we found them dead by the bar. So that's where it's at. All right. I'll have to go hunt around and see what I can find. Okay. So all you guys can meet together again. Give me my dice. Which ones? Those ones? Okay. You guys can all meet together again. <clears throat> Discuss what you found out and go from there. All you guys talk. <clears throat> well, I know to, where to get American money. I need as much information on my people. What about you? I got information out of one person. What did what they say? They didn't know much about the armor. <laughs> well, I know Did we get both your people? Yes, we did. Okay. My people didn't say I much. found Tony's hidden lab. Now, getting into it, I don't know how. I don't just know where. Who wants fake IDs? Me. We're all going to need them soon. I know where to go. We'll go talk to the admin first. Then we'll go looking for the, go to the lab. Go to the admin? Yes. What do you want? IDs. You, you want IDs for all of us? Okay. Are you going somewhere? Where? What kind of ID do you need for where? Just ID for Canada? <laughs> and the U.S. In case we Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll start on those. Uh, the Canadian one, actually, I am going to you. tomorrow morning, 
you're probably going to have to show up to the cafeteria when we're going to set up a passport for cameras area and get pictures of everyone in your mass of people and get them all set up Canadian ID. Um, and see what we can do from there. As well as trying to get work for everyone. Um, did you have any luck at locating this mythical cash cow for us? He's the one to ask. To ask. On what? This sentinel armor. Did you have any luck at finding <laughs> anything towards it? I, I mean, at this point, we would take something that would allow you to detect sentinel. We have the helmet. Yeah. What's it do? Doesn't it detect? Yes, it does. He doesn't know that. They never saw it. Well, they, they don't even know if it's actually Tony's. Well, we have the helmet. Well, do we want to give it to the armor lab and let them look at it, or what? Might as well. That's the reason we brought it over. Who do you want to take it to? There's two armor lab people. Give me the two armor lab people. Anyone have advice as to why you should choose one or the other before she chooses randomly? Okay. They both said they're both the same people. This one you look at is her place of the mess. Ah. <laughs> Who do we have? Who do you send the armor helmet to? Dr. Kyle Grant. The organized one. <laughs> Good thing Maximus doesn't get to see the map that Luna got to see. Well, it's not the first time. You guys live out, live like wherever you can find to live. I'm sure it's not always clean. Yeah. Every place you go, you have to first spend the first day finding a space to lay down that's not covered by bug parts. So, they have the helmet. You want Canadian IDs, and just in case, we'll start working on American IDs for just you guys. You are the everyone else is staying here. Yeah. Well, Lexi. Oh, yeah. She's out, out playing in the. And she shows up with an ID that says "fox." She has a picture of a fox. I got my ID. And that's 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 been, that's that's completely useless to me. Thank you. <laughs> Let me open it back a tr box of Cracker Jacks and see if I can help. <gasps> Decoring! We're saved! <laughs> are you trying to, are you trying to like, like, get a, 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 like when you have a mole in a hole in the ground and you try to smoke them out? <laughs> trying to smoke Luna out? Is it a cloudy day for the moon? <laughs> yes! Okay. Um, I'll put What's down. This? Has helmet. Okay, someone tell me how to spell that word. H E L M E T. God damn it. <coughs> I always thought that looked wrong, and that was wrong too. H E L M E T. Yeah, it just looks wrong. It's odd. Helm. I, I, I keep trying to put helm. Mutt. I like a U in there. Helmet. Mutt. Mutt. I'm not talking baseball. Sweaty. Quit playing with your boobs. We're on TV. I'm not. No. I'm going like this. She's trying to do that TikTok. Drip, drip, drip. Oh. <laughs> and I'm starting to sweat. Make sure the air conditioner if you want. No, because it's going to be in a... Are you sure? Yes. Any louder than anything else in this room? Okay. So that one got bigger. That's true. Okay, just to let you know, Devin, I may be tapping out because my sciatic is acting up. But I'm going <coughs> to go as long as I can. Well, what time is it? 9.17. We don't have that much more time anyways. Okay. We have about an hour. Sunday's going to be better. Okay. I don't care about Sunday's game. I prefer costumes. <laughs> you guys aren't wearing superhero costumes? I don't even want to talk to you. That's not a superhero costume. <laughs> I don't know. I can almost count it as Captain America. Hey, I have Wonder Woman undies on. I can say prove it, but we're not on camera. We shouldn't do that. So. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> you hand over the Hi, helmet. Hi, some blondie. Hi, some blondie. <laughs> okay. I've been Helmet. They study it. Let me go. To, I'll run through again just so you know what they find out about it. Yes, it's Starks. You get protection against all attacks in your head. Mutant detection. The unispectrum, it's in the chest, it, you, well, no, it, that, this one's on the helmet, allows the wearer to detect all living things within 10 miles. Determine which, whether each is animal, human, mutant, or something else. This has been since the chip's been added. It didn't work before. Set, sentinel detection. It apparently picks up on their location on where they are and what type of model they are. Apparently somehow updating itself to understanding models even after the design of the helmet. So it's not just for records. That identifies some code in them. Uh, and then a protected senses. Basically as you're wearing it, you're protected from most sonic and visual attacks. Now, that that's gone. I told you what I could do, they took it away. They run down the hallway. Making that sound. <laughs> Zoidberg! <laughs> yes. So, what do you guys do now? Chase I, him! We're not exactly important to take the helmet. Let's go find this freaking lab. Alrighty. You go to his office. Okay. Tony Stark's office. Stark is dead, but his opulent office is untouched and unused. <laughs> A veritable shrine to the man's wealth. There's plenty of interest to the PCs here. Once you get permission to look around, of course. No one ever goes into this office unless they specifically have called and asked about and getting permission. Uh, the janitor, who had all these secrets, janitors tend to do that. Um, she is the only one that had the key to the office. Um, the entry is necessary. There's not... Okay, um... She did. Or she, <laughs> did. she did. He got payback. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Assuming you can win the trust of the NPCs, which should be not be difficult, but not impossible. Role playing challenge, blah blah blah. They can investigate to their heart's content as long as they don't tear the office up. For the humans, with the exception of Doctor or Mrs. Carlisle. The mutants of the facility know nothing about Stark's super-powered armor, as you guys have learned. They make mocking references to that old fool, Rhodey, who always chase rainbows and making up stories about his old boss, Tony Stark. If the PCs have the helmet, uh, Lee is, or Grant is currently examining it, and starts to believe that Tony Stark did invent a killer suit of armor, because this identifies a connection to a whole suit. Uh, we'll gladly help you check around the area and see what we can find. So, you go into the office. Um, intuition checks? Yeah, let's, let's start with just straight up intuition checks. Okay, first I need your intuition. Never mind, you don't make it. Uh, Bell. Typical and I got 20. Your now level. my dice are being mean. He got a yellow. Okay. My intuition is feeble, and I got a sixty-one. That's a green barely. Yeah. <laughs> we just had this. Discussion and then mine earlier. is monstrous. So. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Tremors. I know I didn't use green. Control. Don't tell me the color of her burps. I got a 48. I felt that rumble. Okay. <laughs> you fine? Well, I only get a yellow, which would have been a fail. Except for we give you a high bonus. Uh, you know uh, roughly what area to look at. Where were you looking? According to where... 
she said they found him in in the middle of the bar. Okay. As you walk into the office, you see this big opulent office, but in one area, there's an island bar on it. So that, that that's the bar they were talking about in his office. So I'm gonna walk inside and look around and look on the floor and see where it might be an opening that will open up. No, this this bar is attached to the floor. It looks like it's part of the floor. Okay. Well, I'm gonna Now, think about a bar. I wanna start pulling levers on it. You start like to tap things? Okay. You turn on the water, hot and cold, with blowing. Turn them off. Okay, turn them off. Lick it. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> but you did notice, since you made the yellow roll, and not her slapping around knobs, when she slapped the knobs around, or he did, the uh, sink, sink jiggled a little bit. Yeah, like the whole case for the whole thing for it. Now, a sink this expensive shouldn't be jingling around. I'm gonna pull it up and see. Pull it up. Say, pull it up and see. Okay, it comes up about that far and stops. I can. Mm. Do you have force, force? Got to do something under it. I'm thinking something. But. But it moved up. Yeah, it lo yeah, about that far. You look through it, look underneath that space. Yeah. yeah. See if I can see. Make an intuition check. Eleven. No. no. Hey. Make a psych roll. <laughs> what? Take me a psych roll. <laughs> she can't do it. She can't make a psych roll. She failed. <laughs> he fails. <coughs> 91. On a good. Okay. That's a yellow. Um, so, while you're standing there, he put the face like all the way down, and he's looking close to the edge of the sink. <coughs> what do you think? I want to push it. The sink? Ah. It, No. The only reason it comes up is if you hold it, otherwise it lands back down. So you push. He's not strong enough to resist your hold. You're pushing, so he pushes. Sh sh reaches over, goes, pushes it down while you're looking underneath it. Giggles. Okay, giggles. No, that's the face you're giving for Maximus. Giggles. Okay. Do you want to turn the faucets on? <laughs> okay. Water comes splashing down. Make a... You roll for percentage dice and you roll for percentage dice. If your number is under hers, you get splashed with water. 50. 32. You moved your head quick enough. But you noticed... When she turned it on, the sink lift the sink lifted a little more. Should I turn it off and turn it back on? Keep doing it. You start slapping them. I'm probably Kay. just sitting I'm somewhere just watching. Around. You're walking around, looking around. Yeah, you I'm guys can be looking around. other places. Is that what we're going to do? There's a refrigerator in the corner with. You know, <laughs> expensive treats and things to drink. And Ooh, I'm going to go right in the fridge. <laughs> right. Look for donuts, right? Yeah, but Luna ain't getting any donuts. I want so donuts! I'll give Maximus donuts! Maximus, donuts. Maximus, donuts. <laughs> Maximus is over playing with the sink, though. Luna wants a donut. I'll take one over to him. Okay. <laughs> I don't <know> find any. <laughs> um, it, it seems that turning the water on releases the sink. What do you do? Like, it, it, it lifts up now. How far do you want to lift it? See how far I can pull it up. Comes straight up. 
Like you can see underneath it now. So we can see what's going down in there. It's a hole. Just the size of it. It does, and, and a rubber hose is going from the bottom of the thing so it doesn't break when she lifted it into this box. Make a uh, percentage today. dice roll. What? Percentage dice. Two dice, ten. I roll. I love it. You like that number, don't you? Right there. Okay, he's stumped. I'll roll. Okay. 73. You really want me to walk around. <laughs> Make a reason check. Trixie's reading the fridge. What's your reason? Reason. My reason is I'm gonna roll these two dice. Yeah. What is it? Oh, you got the numbers. You can check it. What'd you get? Seventy-one. Okay. What's your reason? I know, because you want to win. My reason is good. Uh, it's average. Seventy-one. Yep. Excuse me. That's a green. Well, one thing that's crossed your mind. I gotta go get a band aid. A band aid? Okay. Why do you keep cutting she yourself? Hit her, she hit her paper cut on the table. And, and she made it, it rubbed she made against it that. It didn't do anything. You, made you rubbed your finger against it. It's an animate object. <laughs> you heard it yourself. Yes. But as you were saying. Um, well, I was, but Max walked away. It's Max's yes, discovery. Okay. okay. He'll be back momentarily. He's over there eating things out of the refrigerator. Yeah, he came to donuts! get treats from Tricky. <laughs> donuts! No bars. No donuts for Luna. Oh, no, donuts. no, you don't do the room. It looks like a refrigerator to like at a fancy hotel room. It's got like all kinds of snacks and it's got a, a tin. Now, no prices, because Tony Stark would put prices on shit Give in his own office. It's all free. Yeah. Yes. The only thing li soda. missing, you can't tell. I have it on there tight, so it will... I hate people, guys. All right. So, but what you noticed, as he was looking at this sink and lifting it, it, you know, with its on... He lifted it and he was moving it around trying to see what he could do with it. You think he saw that you could churn it in a way to spray him in the face? I'm gonna do that! Do it! Roll. Do it! 94. Okay. Oh, Jixon's gonna laugh. Get her foot off. Roll percentage dice under your um, decks or agility. Um, Skinwalker. Huh? 61. 61! What's your jelly? Or dexterity? Or yeah, jelly. Typical. Typical. 61. Good enough. You dodge the water. Damn! But at that point, the bar goes. <laughs> and it slides over. And there's an opening and a and a ladder going down. We found something. Yep. I'm going down. Secret room! I'll help. I'll help you. Okay. You I, I'm gonna pick him up and toss him down. <laughs> he becomes a bird. After I tie him up. No, oh, tying me up. Yes, tie you up. Tie him. Brings him, brings you back to the surface, ties you up, and does it again. It's like, what? The, I didn't come up here. Okay. Um. Turning the hot cold water on to fur but full blast to the built-in sink and lifting the faucet straight up and then turning it left. So it appears that the water can spray whoever's right in the face, causing the bar to roll to one side, revealing the entrance. The water shuts itself off before the person opening the door gets a shot of water in the face. That's the reason why you didn't get hit. But you still dodged in case it would have happened. Stark's lab is dust covered, but no less impressive for a thin film of dirt. There are several smashed suits of armor, almost as if the old Iron Man armor had been used to test the offensive firepower of later models. This is actually probably what happened. <laughs> Bye, 
bananas. Everyone make an intuition check. Bananas. Twenty-six. Seventy-two. Ninety-seven. Fifty-eight. Ninety-seven. Um, does anyone have the the uh no. Did anyone look at the picture at the beginning of the game? No. Okay. Uh, there's a picture of the armor. If you look at last month's episode, there's a picture of it there. That armor is sitting in the center of the room in a glass case. With that mine! Armor. And it's about half your body size. Here, yeah, mine! Can't get to it. It's about Can't this big. Your chest is like twice as large. We're gonna take it, see if we can pull it out of that and take it upstairs. Okay. I can lift it up and take it. You take, open up the case. Yes. Okay. Because the case is just covered, just protecting it. All of there is. See if I can pull it up. You want lift it? Make a strength roll. Let's see if I can pull it. And check. My strength is incredible. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. She's looking at the picture online. 98. You should have real damn studio on your list. Or I'll have to yeah, I do. 98. 98? You lift the case off, no problem. What do you want to do with it? It's heavy and it's glass. I put carry. it down. Okay. Throw it down? No, I just set it down. Put it down nicely. Okay, rope size. 95. Okay, you put it down safely. It's in good condition. Now I grab the armor. Okay. You grab the I'm armor. the strongest! I may, I may not be the smartest, but I'm the strongest. Okay, you need to make a roll. On what? On your endurance. 99. 99. Which is a red. Which is a red. So, do you have any defenses versus electric attacks? I just want the ones. No. I have resist radiation. Nope. You take 50 points damage. You can reduce by um, the yeah, body armor. 10 points? Yep. Yeah, that's stuff protect against electricity. Some ground too. So, what did I say? 50? So, 40. 40 points damage, but you're still holding the armor. That's what the roll is. See if you're strong enough to do it. But it's electrocuting you. Apparently, it doesn't want to be touched. What do you do? I'm going to keep heading over to the armor lab. Yeah, lift it off its base? Yes. Okay, make another strength roll. 99. It doesn't let go. It's bolted. It's somehow connected to the ground. Why? That's what you're wondering. And you're about to get shocked again. I let go. Okay, I won't make you take damage again. Go let the people at the armor lab know that we have it. Okay. Okay. Oh, and go let Dr. Johnson and Goldberg know. Okay. They are... Admin. Are Admin? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You three! Shit. Run off and get at people. Oh, everyone brings someone to me. Down here? Yes. Ooh. Yes. They're all surprised and impressed. And Grant comes, wasn't it Grant? Who's the guy that has the armor? The head. He brings you the helmet, says it's very typical that it deals. Don't touch it, don't touch it! He comes yelling and running in. Too late. Oh, you all right? My hair's like all over your body, because you have hair everywhere. I look like a big old poodle. Yeah, just poodle bear. Power. Okay, um, ah! Moses' armor has defensive systems. You need to put the helmet on first. Well, no, on the armor. Okay. To unlock it from its base. Give me the armor, or the helmet. Okay, here you hand you the helmet. I put it on. Okay, the helmet, the suit unlocks. It it. Yeah, it puts it on your head. It just sits there like a cat. Like a little Jewish cat. I can put it on. No. 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 <laughs> Who wants for Luna not to put it on? Cod piece. I was thinking Trixie could put that on. So, 
As you guys end up spinning... Who votes for Trixie not to put it on? Well, you know who was wearing armor before, but she's not here. That's yeah. Lexi. Because <laughs> Lexi can look cute. That would be dangerous. <laughs> oh! So far, they said you're my side. And there's also another problem. You have a spiny that sticks oh. out. Oh, yeah, I forgot about my... She puts it on, and it's like... Bouncing, and it's like her bat can't get past the neck hole. I knew a god all about that. Okay. Um, I need. Is there there's scissors in here, right? Yes. Okay. Right here. There's two things. One. This. Is what you guys find there? out. You guys want to pass around and look at it? That is the stats of the armor. I was going to hand it to you. <laughs> you have five dollars in there. Okay. Boys first. Wait. <laughs> boys first. <laughs> You're playing a boy. And I'm <laughs> just a boy with boobs. Um. Oddly enough, also the one that's a mess. What? Heck in. Hey, the other guy who was kind of hurt from Armor Lab because he didn't have anything to do, he says, um, well, I guess you don't need my help at all then, but I put one together. And he, uh, he has an armor. And so you got it for a comparison. Here's the original Iron Man armor. And he put one together. You have two available armors you guys found. Will this one fit me? No. Don't pull it on It don't fit you in there. looking! So I guess wow. these two have them. Well, yeah, they can look human. He can change to Fred Myers and wear it. No, no, Luna, no. Do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Yeah. Do what I'm doing. You got to face hey. her, too. Really? Just... <laughs> no, you, could... you and I got some armor, huh? Yeah. Well, Lexi was saying one of them, but she's not here, so she loses. Shapeshifter is finally useful, huh? Yeah. Dicks. <laughs> Thank you, but nope, don't change into a wolf while wearing that. I won't. Don't change into a rhino while wearing yours. <laughs> or a T-Rex. Yeah, that yeah, ruins Who's it. Who's your break it? That's nope. That's Keep it. it. Well, Who's wearing which one? So kind of He's in that one, she's in that one. The new one? Okay. Also, though, just to let you know, because it's not written on there. Your, yeah, your... Or five by tens. Oh, yeah. Or three by fives. Yeah, sure. Or did you want to skip them? No, I don't, you don't need them. They were just to like give you guys who to talk to and to spread her around so not anyone talked to all of them at once. Just help us remember. I got armor now. Out. You got the new armor. No, you have the new armor. You have the new armor. No. I have the. No, you have the new armor. Oh, I do? Yeah. Oh, I have And the here's armor. the new helmet. That's the old armor. Oh, he's the one that found it first. I found it. Yes. He went down there. He tried to pick it up and it hurt. I even got electrocuted! Yes. Well, good thing it was you. Anyone no. else would have what? Now I'm just going to fluff on my butt and start pouting. Go back to the refrigerator. <laughs> Get some more Toblerone candy bars and stuff. I'm going to go eat everything in that fucking refrigerator. Okay. Even I'm if it's old. Even if it's old. After a while, <laughs> she, the lady who takes care of the place shows up with some with a cart. I just leave. No, she brought food to refill it. She's been paid to refill it. Yeah, it tells her when it's empty in certain areas. So what do you guys ate she brought up for you? Got any donuts. Yeah, donuts. back in the break room. Donuts. <laughs> okay, I got a plate here. She lifts up underneath the car and brings out a Give me! <laughs> <laughs> I want them! We never can get donuts. People with armor don't get donuts. I pick her up and chuck her across the room. Watch <laughs> <laughs> you. White finger will do that. Yeah, I go. I don't want a donut now. No, you get donuts worse. on the, the break room, though. I'm going to run to the break room to get yeah. donuts. I'm not in the room anymore. I'm at the break room. With the <laughs> No, all, all she sees is a big hand coming at her. Flick! 
Okay, um, so they're looking into stuff. They're checking into the room you said. Basically, what they're looking for is see if they can find blueprints for this thing. Or they're just, they're kind of screwed anyways. Stupid people get the um, armor and I don't do shit. I'm sorry. But Dr. Carlisle invites you guys to stay and remain in this seemingly haven and uh, all your people to stay too. And all of them are getting ID and everyone gets a hard karma for giving your guys that you've been taking care of a place to stay. Oh, I'm almost to a classic home. I got to have it. No. <coughs> I'll probably have those up. <coughs> what time is it? 9.44. <coughs> okay. Bet you wonder what's going to happen next. Did you just say bitch? No, I said bet. But I'll call you bitch. Thank you. Aww. 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 Enough. You even ate Maximus Boston cream filled ones. Murderers. Oh. Murderers don't get donuts. Exactly. Hey! Huh? You shush. This is between me and her. <laughs> I'll buy you some more Boston cream. Here, have a donut. Thank you. I'll just quiet. No, it's, it's quietly like, my it's like mystical fetch. <laughs> I catch it. So, I'll what do you guys do for the next? Everyone's nice. healed. I might go train. You gonna go train for a bit? What do you want to train on? You guys got time to spend points? You My. Know? You guys okay. can add up your points so we can agility. spend some points. Your agility? Okay, what do you have? Increase. My agility is remarkable. Remarkable, so it's 30? Yep. And you need to get to. 36. I don't think so I have anything that I want to work on right now. How many points do you have to spend? It costs you 310 to get to 31. 320 well, to get to 32. We'll put it this way. My karma total yeah. is 4,000. Okay. So, 33. So, if we go that far, 35. 36. We'll see what this is going to cost you. Everyone else, add up your points. You got those calculators laying around. Oh, now is the time that you guys can actually spend about two or three days taking care of stuff that you already have points for. Find out what you have and what you can spend it on. If it takes a mentor, it may be difficult to do. And then after that, I want to raise my reason and my sight. 2,010 points. And you'll be at 36. Uh, okay, so it's now incredible. Yes, at 36. Write that down next to it. And then add six points I to your health. I am missing two of my fucking pencils. Which ones you want? They could be pencils on your character sheet. The other game? No? I haven't opened it. Is this one of yours? I know I return. No. no. I always I give you one. Just no, it's... There's two... There's some pencils with the character sheets. Do you okay. have one with your character sheet? No. Huh. Okay, uh... So what color are those? Is this one? Yes, that is one of them. There you go. And then I have a green and black one. The green one? So it's I cross green. out remarkable and... Pretty incredible, but you were right next to it, 36. And you're at the bottom of incredible. Wait, 36? I think that's it, isn't it? Do you... 36 to 45. Yeah, and that's incredible. Yes. Yes, okay. I don't have that form. Okay, so you have 1990 left. Okay, yep. now going over to, yes. I'm just thinking. Skinwalker, okay. You need a calculator? Oh, I'm good. Okay. Uh, <coughs> how much would it cost me to get my... Uh, you guys can affect any stats now. Any skills or those things, you need a mentor. But you do have a few people here if you need a mentor for a power. Or if you can train with each other. No, what? What were you asking for? Endurance. A stat? Oh, I was thinking. Really. How about what stats do you have, in, like you? Sorry. Maybe you should work on your feeble. Oh, yeah. Work on my intuition. What about those <coughs> three yeah, I'll get you, typicals? So you remember that. Three typicals? What, which one do you want, you want to deal with first? 
Some boy says that you're working with sound connection. Faster with what she thinks. I'm thinking. You have to have a mental track. Don't it! My agility, my reason, and my intuition. How many points you got before I even start adding this? You probably won't be hard. Let's see here. Um, Typical is eight. Yeah, you sold the shadow of it. 1875. Ten. Sorry, I can't, can't no. Okay, it will cost you to get all these stats to good. Two hundred seventy points each. Oh wait, so that's times three, right? Three stats? Yeah. Six. Eight hundred ten. Eight hundred ten. Yeah, that gives you a ten in all those stats. So you'll be up to good. And then that also gives you. Um, we'll add up his points from good, good, whatever they are. Good's worth 10 points. So that's 30. Yeah. Plus, what was the stat that's left? Okay, so what stats are these? The first four? Agility, reason, intuition. Okay. And then what's your, you have a 20, um, fighting? My, my fighting. No, or, or him. So all my goes up to good. Yes, except for the excellent. Okay, so it's 20, 30, 40, 50. You have a 50 um, health now. On top of his 56. Well, what's he have for health? 56. Okay, add those stats up again for me. What are they? Okay. What's his fighting? 20. Okay. What's his... Um, 10. 10? 10? 10 and 10. Um, 60. No. no. 20, 30, 40, 50. This is... You want his... His first, first four, four stats. Fighting is excellent. Yeah. Agility is good. Yeah. So that's 30. Okay. His strength is excellent. Okay. That's 20. Yep. And his endurance is good. That is... 60 now. On top of his 56. No, he gets rid of his 56. Now it's 60. Okay, so... Cross Replace, that out. Just cross that off and put 60. Okay, anything else? You want to spend on, or are I'm you good? Look on my you can keep going up if you want. I'm good. If you have points left, I should say. I'm good right okay. now. Okay. Uh. I might need that for changing. It. You have a a feeble. A feeble on my intuition. Hold on. Um, so it's thirty. Eight hundred points. And I have a good endurance, so I was thinking about bringing that up. Fifty. Sixty. Honestly, I would. How many points do you spend? Two typicals. To good. The, What's, yeah. the agility and fighting, or the agility and strength, I would get that. I'm fighting 76,000. What? Yeah. How much? I would put that up to Wait, I used to get those up to good. Time. You had to have, because it most, yeah. not, maybe take a number off the end. What? She said 76,000. Maybe it was 7,000 something. Because you guys were all spending points around the same time. Yeah, because so. I spent... Okay, Some of my so right now you're only, it's only, I've, I've got you up at a good, Okay. and it only costs you 180 points. Okay. Is that good enough, or you want to keep going? No, I think that's good enough. And then... <coughs> you can't change your intuition. So do you want to... To good? Get those two studs yeah. up to good. And write down the 10. Yeah, just come here. Just sticking on this, too. Just hold it. Piece of that. There you go. Oh, here. Oops. It's turn. It's a jump in. Jump it's sweaty, and it's getting under Okay, no, anything else you want to raise? Uh, nope. I think I'm good. All right. Okay. So, Lynette, Luna's wanting to raise her agility and strength, which is both typical, Okay. up to good. So, it's two sets? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. I was just doing my old. Yeah, okay. Character sheet in there. Yeah. I have mine too. We all have ours. <laughs> yeah, just in case we ever have to like go back and say See, something. Is it really there? Day, See. So, 800 points. And you can get good on those two steps. Oh, cool. So. Spend it. Yeah. Add her, and then change her points. What I will do. <coughs> so, so you don't get confused. The open door. Oh! Hey! Hey! 
You take 100 points for finding out how to open up the thing. Uh, how much? 50. You two take 50. You guys found an armor. Okay. Put another 50 back on it. Yeah. So I'm just putting. I just remember because I saw it on the list. 10. Yeah, I yep. kind of figured good. it out. Equals 10. It was just designed to spray you in the face, so why would you do it on your own? It was basically, okay. why would you do that if you're standing in front so of it? Devin, it was the idea. Someone else had to do it too. Since the, two of those four stats... Are one of the first four? Yes. Give me the other four stats. 30, 10, 10, and 30, so 60. 10, 10, and 30? No, that's... No. Oh. Okay, 30 and 30. It's she 60. Has, yeah. Okay, yeah. So should I cross out her health and put it up to 60? Yes. Yay! Oh. Yeah. As long as it's not bleeding. So you are now 60 health. There you go. Okay. What time we got? 9.54. Um, she's also wanting to work on her sound. Does she need a mentor on that? Yeah. Yeah, she needs someone with sound powers. I was just waiting on it. We'll get a chance to actually raise stats in a bit. Yeah. But first, I need some, let's see, we'll start with skin roll. Oh, my die 20. You don't have a die 20? Yeah. These are pretty much the right notes. 18. Well, after the time I'm like at home trying to talk about it, yeah. I have the notes. Max, die 20? 20. It just makes it easier. Luna? Roll die 20. 6. Wolf? Okay. Alarm sound. After about two or three days, if you guys playing around exercising, alarm sound, air raid, air raid alarms from outside the base. Everyone starts panicking and uh, heading down to. They have underground uh, bomber bunkers. What is it? Um, you stop and ask someone? Yeah. Make a... Percentage dice roll. Higher the better? Yep. How about 93? Ah. Does that mean I'm healed all the way now? Yes. Okay, good. I was giving you time for that, too. Especially with you with your electricity. How much is your endurance? My endurance is incredible. So you gain 40 points a day in healing anyways. Well, you actually, you're healing, don't you? Slow re re Yeah, but you can, for in a day, you'll regenerate the entire body. Yeah. Easily. You actually regenerate four points per churn. A churn is like 10 minutes, or, you know, a, a, a minute. So, yeah. Give me some time, you deal. That was close. Okay. Uh, they tell you it, it's it, it, it shouldn't be, but it's a sentinel alert. Mm -hmm. Hey, Skinwalker, mm -hmm. Mystic. Mm -hmm. Time to get the armors Get out. the armors on. Oh, yay. Yay. Kill sentinels. No. <laughs> right. do, what do you guys do? Just wait for them to show up if they show up or what? I'm leaving the base. Okay. How far are you like leaving from? Like long distance or just outside waiting? To where they can't get to the fucking base. Okay, so you start running from the base? Okay. Because I know who they're after. Okay. Who else? What are um, you guys doing? I'm up in the air on the, the armor going. Make a reason roll. <laughs> what? 98. Okay, armor takes off. 
How about you? What do you want to do? Hmm? I was thinking about I'm like gonna... trying to poke the face. Okay. Can mine? I know, but it's not good enough yet. Yeah, so I'm down on the ground. It's way too big. Um, right now, unless you take side to fly. I'm gonna stay on the ground. Okay. I'm not sure how to fly. You, haven't, you, you don't change into birds, so you know, you're used to flying. I, don't know what I have some Kool Aid. I have some hibiscus Kool Aid. Yeah. Would you like some hibiscus Kool Aid? You know what you're paying me ass this is? You gotta no. unload so everything. You gotta, like, the hibiscus yeah. The white? Yeah. Interesting. <coughs> don't think I was kidding. Sorry! <laughs> no, I'm gonna drink this. It's my find! Take some and hand it down. Do you have a glass? No. Mm, no, because you get two glasses. I need glasses. They're right here. For, for you. For yes, you got a glass right there. And give. Did you want some? Did you want well, some? I'm trying to think of what to do. Do you want some juice? Do you want some please? juice to think with? <laughs> I'm just, just trying to figure out what I can do. Yeah. Give her the poison good drink. <laughs> no, he's Mo's gonna drink poison the poison Luda. drink. <laughs> there you go. The world needs help sometimes. Enjoy my CRMS, Devin. I will. That stuff tastes like drinking water. I have bad taste buds. It could be all the medication too. Yeah, medication screws up my taste buds. If it's anything, it's coffee from the top of the coffee pot. Or the coffee uh, can. That's where it was sitting. Coffee spills. Hey! That's no sugar in it. That's why it doesn't taste sweet. Okay. That's fine. Oh, yeah, but it, it's cold and it's fruity a little bit. Mm -hmm. You want to check it again? Hmm? Okay, still no good? <laughs> hey. I can throw it out. <laughs> you want me to throw them all out? <laughs> I just realized I can detect the sentinels now. You do so, huh? Do you want to check that? Sure. Roll. What's your detection on? Does it stay on it? I want to stay in hell, but distance, direction, I don't of see movement, much I can do. closing speed. Does it give you a stat? You have dark matter. Uh, it? it might. You may not really realize it then. I might not realize it. Yeah, because they were they hide I it. Have walls down. And you have sound generation. Um, what's your intuition in the armor? My intuition is excellent. Roll on that. Ninety-two. Okay. Uh, the armor informs you that it has three Omega Sentinels arriving. Fuck! No! no. 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 <laughs> hey, I guess I'm helpful now with the armor. I guess I'm hopeful to you guys now with the armor. We's we gonna be dead. We, we hope so, at least. <coughs> and it ignores you. It flies over you. Heads to the, the, the place. They've been looking for this location. Great. But you guys already found what they were looking for. <coughs> and these two are in it. <coughs> well, they're more worried about this one. <coughs> They've beaten that one up a lot of times. Uh, you want to help Miss? Uh, but he Wolfie can still do damage. I mean, I, it still I, does damage. I think Luna and I need to go downstairs. You guys leave him alone. What can we do to him? Okay. We have no. Max, what are you doing? It's your turn. We well, I was gonna. I was gonna. Oh, you're outside. That's right. You gotta get back inside, don't yeah. you? Okay. Uh, next is Skinwalker. You're in the uh, air. I'm you gonna... see them in the distance. They haven't gotten here yet, but they're on their way. You can fly to them. I think your armor's pretty quick. I I'm going to go after them. Okay. Now I'm more scared. Why? Because since I have the new armor, then you can fight back. Get up in the air and start fighting. Mm -hmm. Just don't lose it. There's only one copy. I will. I will keep it in here. <laughs> no, I mean as oh, a player. And the armor. <laughs> yeah. I only have one. Armor dies. Armor. Then what happens in the game? It is one of the things listed to see if it, if it changes the end for good. Throw it at the ground. See if it cares. Okay, <laughs> Max went. 
Skidwalkers flying at it. What do you want to do? Any kind of attacks or something? I'm going to use the uh, the uh, blast and the whatever blast jack. Can you help read it? I'm trying to see what he was looking for the razors or something he's got. Repulsors? Yeah. yeah. Standard Each piece. of the armor's hand armor's hand coverings containing a plasma projector in the palm. Yeah, it's capable it's of repulsors. doing amazing damage to any target up to ten areas away. You just have to make an endurance roll or an agility roll to hit. Uh, 92. That probably hits. 92. 92 on the armor, or? For the, well, it, on his agility? Yeah. Um, there's fire. a bunch of agility in the armor. Excellent. Actually, yeah, can, we'll, we'll say the back six. Excellent. So what'd you roll? 82? 92. 92. Excellent. 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 Is still a yellow, though. Yellow's nice. Yellow on blunt attacks is a possible slam, even though it's size. But it's endurance. No slam chance. Whoa. Oh, roll die 20. Eight. Eight. Well, Sunday you're going to have to have those yeah. on you. So that's 48. Ow. You okay? Oh, your hands hit you. you. We're going to have you attack Omega 1, we'll call it for now. Okay. Uh, you did some damage, but not much you would have liked, but you did damage. It apparently gets at least a little bit through the armor. So, next is... Nope, not here yet. Uh, Sentinels. Well, two will go on, head to base. One is going to take you. Um... Agility, amazing. You take 51 points damage. How much armor do you have? I can see it. Look at there, body armor. Body armor. Yeah, they both did that. This one's the worst one. I was telling you, one, yeah. Just tell her. Body armor, the armor. What happens? Is amazing. Protection from okay. physical so damage. So amazing protection would be fifty. Yeah. You take a point damage. One point. Yep. It's just right. It's very sensitive. Cold. Yep. Just use that as if it was your character right now. You write it on the front. Oh, I have many copies of damage. Okay. So it's fine two place. One point. Okay, and then the other two come flying into the base where you're Actually, standing. No green, no. I will send you and they land. Wolf, the church, what do you do? Um, Apparently, one stayed back and fought as he like peeled one off from the group. There are three of them, so you're fighting two. I'm fighting one. If I have four on the side, it just starts to look like. Do you have a dentist? What is yeah, weapons that you have? Pumpkin seal? Let me try to see more. Go to Apple Valley. See, I'm in the bottom of the right now. I am too. Federal Care Act. Please go, go to Apple Valley. Right? Dental and braces. Yeah. I've got repulsors and repulsors. Mm. I have to get that taken care of. Let's see something here. I'll just make sure which one has oh, ranks and what. Um, oh, just let you know. Because I was going to use force field. I'll run through them. Force field. Um, gives you armor, of course. Um, you have monster protection versus energy. Uh, force field, which of course is defense, gives you monstrous armor on top of it, and you have physical armor. So first they have to get through the, uh, the body arm, the, the force field, and then they get to you. Flight, 50 areas per turn, speed X. Repulsors. Um, amazing damage. Ten areas, it's the same. Pulse bolts, they are though, really good. They did. which is stronger, they is monstrous play, uh, damage. Oh, Disruptor field has to be a lot closer, and it's an electromagnetic beam that can disrupt electrical devices, but you're not sure 
because the uh, sandals may be covered for that. Your best weapon, though, is your pulse bolts for monstrous damage. I'm going to use my pulse bolts. Your agility is incredible in this suit. All right, so I'll roll for my agility. Yep. 96. 96. Okay, that's a red. There you go. But you still don't have enough power to <coughs> cause a stun or a kill. But you can do damage. Roll die 20. Die 20? Yep. Fifteen. Uh tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, that's good. Fifteen. Monday. Talk to my grandma about it. Because they, I'm I'm on state insurance too. Minus. I had to work Thirty. My grandma. You did some damage to it. Yes. Talk to them. Now, not while you would have hoped it didn't like. Kill a sentinel just like that. We'll find but I did damage. damage. Yes. That's what I was Luna, what are you doing? I'm running back in and hiding. Okay. We're back to Max. Fuck yeah. it, I'm gonna start fighting. You gonna attack one of these two? You wanna yep. attack the one that's not being attacked? Yep. Okay, you're Luna's right actually there. not wanting to fight. And I'm gonna use my claws. Okay. Go for it. You're Since I can't rip its fucking head off. Is that door locked? Yes. Yeah. It's closed. We would have opened it by now if it wasn't, that's for sure. 100. Okay. Uh, an incredible. Roll that 20. 20. Knees hurting. Oh. Sure you weren't farting at my kitty? <laughs> <laughs> I would never fart at Guido. With behind her. Guido, you're cute. Oh, I had to stand up because my knee was okay. To hurt. Yeah, scratched it. You got through its armor a little bit. Not a whole lot. Not what you're used to, but you you did do some damage. It was surprised. No, you, the claws actually. Your armor and its armor and your claws are at the same ring. So you get a little bit through <laughs> here and there each time. Okay. Um, that was Max. Skinwalker. Uh, I was uh, trying to blast <laughs> the one in the cool. air with me. Yep. I got an 82. Okay. Die 20. And then 18. Okay. You hit it. You did damage. You got in a little bit. It's more than you used to doing before, huh? Yeah. Okay. You want to try it? No. Okay. Um, next is... If you had a zero nick, I'd say let her try it, but we have nicotine. In I'm ours. gonna. I'm probably gonna get a zero nicotine. I think I have one actually. Everyone like, make an intuition a check. Blueberry. Except for the one. Well, I guess the one that's inside. I'll let her make an intuition check too. Everyone make an intuition check. Red for me. Okay. Throw your dice at people. See if I can. <laughs> I found it. Am I rolling for my intuition? Yep. Armor? Yeah, the armor. We're just counting the armor now. It's, it's you helping your intuition. Oh, just like your health is, is this one. Mm -hmm. But when I that hits it. zero, oh, you damage oh, the armor too much. I got it. Yeah. What? I already I did it. my battle. Three? No. Roll on your intuition. Oh, I got 20 on me. Okay. 73 on an excellent. That is a yellow. I got a 75 on a typical. Okay. 75. Typical, that is a green. Okay. Hi, Tito. Sorry for raising my voice. But okay. Those of you that made your rolls, at least, well, green, unless you, you had to have a yellow. Would you roll? We got a 75 on a typical. I think she's still good. Green. You guys hear um, jet powered helicopters. As one flies over, you, someone jumps out of it, lands on this side. And the other helicopter's heading to help with the ones that you guys have. The two that are down with yeah, the Max. They come into fire. Um, the one that's on you, on the one that you're with, it's Wolverine. And he hacks some damage. <gasps> and <laughs> the other one with Fury. <laughs> And, and a, Bill now has a fanboy boner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and they're opening fire on the one. So, who's with me? And um, me. 
Nick Fury's with you. Oh, Nick Fury's no. No, there's only two groups, so. The one of hers alone. They left that one alone. Yeah, if that armor can't deal with one, there's no reason to be here. Yeah. As far so as they they're can. helping you. Yeah. I'm hiding. <laughs> well, is it my turn again? Uh, no. Fuck! <laughs> because Luna's Wolf has a gun. Alright. <laughs> firing again with that big gun? Uh, are you that my pulse bolt? My yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> or my... <laughs> What am I rolling on? Okay, hey. Does anyone remember the thing called karma? You can add to your damage or your yeah. rolls. Oh, what are you okay. doing? What are you doing? I'm going to use it. Oh! Bless you. Your sneeze? Yeah. Okay, After roll. Did you hit your... your uh, Agility? Yeah. Uh -huh. In the armor? Which is remarkable. Okay, roll. It's got a guided system oh, to help you. Nope, 30. 30! 30. 30. Thirty-six. What a hit! Over by the Pasco Walmart. On okay, the Luna, what are you doing? Still hiding? Still hiding. Okay, just checking. Still in Maximus's donuts. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> How much karma can I can I add on my claws? What's your claws? Incredible, which is a forty. So you I got forty add, points. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Oh, wow. When you go over your stat, when you break over 100, it shifts up your damage one rank. So roll so that 20. So it's now at amazing, amazing damage? Yeah, roll that 20. 20. I have this to give it a little more interest. Okay. I gotta put more water in the tank. So. Next is Skinwalker. I'm gonna try and take uh, take out the head of that stupid sentinel. But do you know where it is now that I uh, what you, are you, okay, let me get this straight. Are you firing at it or are you attempting to oh. grab its head? I'm trying to shoot it, it off. Now. Well, that ain't, ain't probably. Well, yeah, go ahead. You're not getting yeah. much damage through, so. But still, you're getting damage my, through. My, it's not going to be an easy fight at it regardless, so. 94. 94 hits, roll that 20. Yeah. So I know where it is. Yeah, if you get on Burn Street, you just see Apple Valley Dental and Bursts. Okay, you got some through that time, too. I don't know what Next. What about Wolverine? Is he cutting on it? Well, on his turn, but I can let him do it. Uh, Bill, you might want to fix something because uh, your, your, your fanboy chub is showing. <laughs> and. No. Just my keys. I was joking! You? It's just my keys. That's all I uh, got. Uh huh. Here, you might, you might want to use this. The army helping you. <laughs> um. Only did like one point damage. So firing on this thing. How much damage did I do for it? Any more than that. The last time, 20. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get to 290 <coughs> sooner or later. Oh my god, that is. No one said this would be easy. But, we'll see what happens. Um, my guys went. So the next one is Sentinels. Now, um, some of them have two opponents, so I have to check. Odd, Wolverine, even, Iron Skin. Iron Skin? Iron skin. Even. I, I, I shot at the one that's been shooting at Does him that for mean a while. I'm Iron Wolf? Yes, so. I'm just going to take 17 points damage. Iron Skin. How much? 17, just write it down, and it's right there. Once I break the armor, I'll throw the piece of paper away anyways. <laughs> 17? Yep. You write on the back, or you want to keep track of it on a piece of paper. Next um, is the one on you. Odd Fury, even. Odd Fury. 17, it fires the helicopter and misses. You. Hmm? You. 21, are you kidding? Can I not hit? 31 would hit, but I failed. So, I went, now it's Wolf. Me? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. use my toast bolts again. It's good, it's just a two agility, which is remarkable. Two what? 
the cold of the juice is hitting that. Oh, that tooth. Ooh, I have like 71 for my what? post bolt. So hey, roll that 20. Wait, did you add karma? No. Okay. Eight. Eight. Okay. You did some more damage. Next is Max. I'm going to add another 40 to my car. You keep clawing at this bitch? <coughs> it has been shifted up to amazing. Gold die 20. This whole shifting damage thing is something I added to the game myself. So, so people who played the game are wondering. But it's still a tabletop home version. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Let me do some quick addings here. Um, next is Iron Skin. Yeah, Iron yeah. Skin. Uh, Your second-hand Iron Man armor, what do you do? I'm going to see if I can get close enough and take a big enough blast into its chest area. See if I can do that and put some karma into that. Okay, roll. What's your intuition? Or not intuition, your agility? And it's, uh... Excellent. Excellent. So you can add 20 points, or wait, your weapons, 40. So you can add 40 points if you want, up to. All right, I'll put 40 in now. Okay, roll. 81. Plus 40 or not? Did that, you add that? That's 81 plus the 40. So it's 101. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 121. Okay, roll that 20. That's the stuff I get. 14. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Fury and Wolverine. Oh, free. From uh that sucks. Walgreens? Yeah. You can get that Tom's toothpaste with it. Too. And I have to talk to him. Sucks. Okay. Next is me. How good I do on that one. How how good I do on that one. You got Wait, I just show her those. about ten more points. Yeah. But you did do more damage. It, it's, yeah. it's, it's, don't worry, it may not seem like much, but you guys are lucky. I mean, you're still alive. Yeah, it's not easy to shoot these things down. Uh, matter of fact, a jet. Well, these copters, Nick Fury's copter, is doing one point last time. One point? Yeah. Wow, it's firing machine guns, yeah. So you're doing more than that. That's why it takes the armies to defeat these damn things. Um. Actually, let's see, odd or even, we'll go with yours first because you're just on that side, even. It's going to be you, um, because that mouthwash, as soon as you use it, you can feel it just numbing. Nice. Damn it. I don't have anything more effective. So, 17. Okay. And uh, yours, odd, even, odd. It's firing at you this time. 36 still hits. Um, 52 points minus 10. It's 42 points. Rot it down and on we go. Next is oh wait me and you. Oh wait, I, I'm just shooting at one person. I don't have to worry about that. Ninety-two. A hit. My teeth. I breathe in there. But the shield should be stopping it. Well. Oh. 
Okay. To turn on the force field, it's an active thing. Okay. Um, you'd have to quit firing. Just to throw your okay. arm on it. So, but you're firing. So your armor, though, protects you. That's cute. It warms up, doesn't it? That's so cute. Do that and try to play Basically. So, you take two points down. Okay. Just write that down. Keep track for me. You can write it down on your care sheet or you write it down on a piece of paper. Kind of yeah. See, I had to do that with this too before I got pulled. Okay. Now it's your turn, Wolf. My turn? Yep. Uh, so yeah, every time you take a drink, you just put your tongue away. I'm going to stop firing and use my force field. You turn off the shooting? Yes. And you turn on your force field? Yes. Okay. Um, that was all of them. So we go back to Max. Oh, I'm going to do the same thing. Go. Hunter. Okay, roll that 20. 19. And this is before I put two more drinks in there. Okay. See that baggie? Mm -hmm. That's what Hershey kisses. Skin. There's two of those in my fridge. What do you do? Me? Fire again or what? As many for this can get rolled. I'm going to see if I can rip the head off. Here you go for strength? Okay. Yeah. What's your strength? Incredible. Okay. Ninety-seven. Okay. Twenty. Okay. And let me check for the other two. For two years. She hits. She takes a little, gives it eleven points damage. The other ones. So this was his target system. The first one was about three, four hundred dollars. Oh, not that one, hundred fifty. Okay, so now it's my turn. As in, big guys, odd, you guys, even, whoever's with you, even, Wolverine, misses. Okay, attacking odd or even on you, even the copter. 92. Okay. 54 to the copter. And I should classify, actually, when I say copter, it's actually three of them. But they're all firing together. And, um, LG Tribute Empire. Yours. I don't know why I keep trying to roll to see who I'm shooting at. Missed. You're in a force field. Mm -hmm. But he missed anyways. So, Wolf, you keep your force field up? Yeah. I'm going to keep my force field up. Until he dies of old age? Or he runs out of power. Mm -hmm. You're, yeah. But Until he runs out of power. Okay, Max. Do the same thing. Okay. 140. So that goes up? Yep. 16. Okay. Next. Oh, Skinwalker. Uh, um, or should I say Fred Meyer? <laughs> Iron Meyer. Uh, I'm still going to see if I can get close distance and fire straight through its front, through its, uh, through the eyes, trying to get to its... So you're going to try to attack an eye. Make a bullseye roll then. What's your agility? Excellent or what? Agility. In the armor. Excellent. Okay. I got an 83 and a 12. Okay, the 83 just hits because you have to make a yellow roll when you bullseye. And 12, you said? Yes. Okay, what I'm going to give it 
is you shot one of its eyes. Um, so I'm going to give it a minus one column shift to hit. But um, I only did two points. It doesn't have a weakness in the eyes. It's just. It even has a backup system if it loses its sight. But. I can't do that. That's why I started getting a headache. Next is. Me. Luna's not playing. I'm just hiding and eating all the donuts. <laughs> You're the smart one. <laughs> even. I'm just eating all the donuts. Down. Hits. <laughs> and he gets knocked off him. Well, Ray's falling. Um, oh, Fury. Oh, wait, let's see. Does he get it? Odd is you. Five misses. And then you. I don't know if I rolled the right guy, so. 76 hits. Ah, that would have been 60 points. But you have your force field up, so nothing happens. Is anybody going to save Wolverine? I could him. come out of hiding and... Because he's falling. Oh, well. on it. I can come out of hiding yet. and we kills. <laughs> um, well... You can wait till this turn. Wait, well, could come out of hiding. Did I hit you already? Yeah. Okay, I still have my first shot up. Max. 100. And 20. Okay, and 20. Right. Is it getting down any? Yeah. Let's see how much. I should come out and help. <laughs> Get almost halfway. I'm gonna come out and help. There. Oh, I'm make coming it out of hiding to help. If they could stop you, they'd end the war. As far as they care. Luna's coming out to help. <laughs> well then, I guess we'll mark where I originally took away your name. <laughs> I'm coming Snow out of hiding. Why do you say that on your turn? I'll let you have a churn again. <laughs> Let's do it. Iron skin. Uh, I'm going to try and save Wolverine. Okay. Got a 97 and a 14. Okay, you catch him. No problem. You didn't have to roll a die 20, though, unless you're doing damage. Okay. Unless you wanted to do damage and piss Wolverine off. You're shooting him to get him to no, land harder? No. I'll throw him at the ground. I have to take that little trick of mine. Cool. I'm gonna take one. him back up That's with me over to the to the battle. Okay. Well, yeah, you caught him. So next is um, well, Fury's people. Mm. But no, God damn it. Yeah. My hip. Well, we were planning to be done, but this is taking longer than we wanted. I also got to check the damage of yours. We had this up quickly. Damage. No, on the one you've been fighting. Oh. I'm gonna say, what do you do? Try and <laughs> slice me open? <laughs> so. Um. Well, we know what the one I'm used to. I guess we By have. Way, when you get back from taking these two on, put my seat in where it was. I will. Um, <laughs> Luna, what'd you want to do? I'm coming out of hiding to help. Okay. Um, as you come out, you see two nearby. Roll a die ten. Odd or even? Ten. Even. So, um, Max is closer to you. I'll go and help Max. Okay. Well, you start heading that way. Unless you did hear a ranged attack you want to do? It feels like you need. I could try to throw my... Make a sword and throw it at him. You can shriek at it. Oh yeah, sound generation. Oh shrinking. No. Yeah. Oh. The yeah. shrinking. 
Yeah. 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 Y